Hello guys, I'm not sure if the, my PS4 thing is, is recording right now, it's the first time I've done this, but I'm going to be making a video, it's going to be something a little bit different than what I usually would do, it's uh, like, if you're just like starting off like to play a game like this, Call of Duty, and you're not really good and you're sucking, well not sucking, but like you're not really good, like you're going negative, well, I'm making this video to uh, may help you out and make you a little bit better at Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So first off, you don't want to play multiplayer and just continue not getting very well kills and all. What I did is I went to bot, um, custom games and uh, did bots. My game's always set up and all, so... Yeah, I went to bots and uh, just kept doing that until I finally just like start to get good and better and then I went back on the multiplayer and same exact thing happened. I was pretty good and I started to go positive so let's get this started. I'm going to give you a couple of tips to help you out in a game. This is like my first video ever to like uh, helping people get better at something. This is how I did it, and you're gonna see how I did everything. So yeah, how I learned how to get better and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a bot on the inner team. Our Hopefully there is. Deathmatch. Going to use. All right, so you want to go into bots. Put at least one bot. And then, like, as you get better, you can spawn more and more bots as you get better. Uh, yeah. CDP, get out there and get the win. Just gonna see here. Well, first off, what you want to have is, like, good sensitivity. Like, right here. Like, I have mine, like, fast. So, if, like, if someone were behind me, or if I see someone behind me on the radar, up in the left top corner, I can just quickly turn around and shoot them. So my sensitivity is, how do I, oh, here. My sensitivity is usually at a 6, but I might do a 7 just to make it a little bit better. Yeah, so to say, if like someone would to ever like run, like if you were to look at your radar and you're running and you see a red dot behind you, just go and shoot the person. Another thing you want to have is like uh, good attachments to your gun. To make things better, like, um, for example, quick reloading. Quick reloading, you're gonna need. So, like, if you're gonna go kill someone, and but you're reloading and you die, that's that. But if you like shoot someone, they see someone come out, you can like duck behind cover them, reload, and then shoot the other person. That's what I do in multiplayer. If I go to shoot someone, and I go reload, and I see some other guy, I duck behind cover, and then I shoot him too. So that's another thing. You want to have good attachment for your gun. And uh, is that bot here? Just want to check quick. I put him on. Whatever. Back to the uh, thing. Another thing. The radar on the top left of your corner. You you want to be looking at that every couple of seconds so you know where all enemies are on the map. That's how I know where all the enemies are on my in my, in my games. I look at it like every couple, like two to three seconds, and wherever I see an enemy, I go to that exact spot and kill the person, or they kill me. Either way, I know where the person is. And let me see. One other thing is, like if you're camping, if you if you're a camper, say you're camping in the spot right here, waiting for people to come around. If you see a red dot coming, like it, like coming down this way you can either just wait for the person to come and shoot them when you know they're coming or you can just come out like this and then shoot them you'll probably die doing that but whatever so yeah you always want to use your radar so you know where the person is so you can just kill them another thing what's another thing huh what's well, another helpful tip let me see Oh yeah, quick aim. You want to have quick aim. So like, 
It's helpful so you can kill enemies faster. I have it on right now. So you can just shoot the person. Instead of like running up to that person and taking like, uh, and then shooting them and then you're already dead next thing you know because you didn't shoot them fast enough. When you want, when you see an enemy, you want to make sure you aim right away to kill them. Instead of like seeing them and saying, oh, it's a bad guy. Let me shoot him. Oh, you're dead. And yeah, that happens a lot to me, but I've learned not to do that as my are. So I just go up and kill the person. Another, and like another helpful tip, you you don't really want to camp. Um, I've had, I've seen like lots of people camp because they think they're gonna get more kills for camping. You do get kills, but not as many camps as running around trying to find enemies. That's what I do. Pretty much in every map, I run around circles, trying to find enemies to kill, and I shoot the enemy if I ever find one. And I use my radar to do that. I I find this. Red, red dots. I go to them and then I kill the enemy. Another thing is you want to do is like you want to uh, try to listen for enemies or anything. Like if you like, if you see your team like, hang on, I'm trying to think of something to tell you. All right, if you're running and you hear like, um, say footsteps, you want to go and see if. Like, if I was running in this house and you heard, like, enemy footsteps saying, like, come over here. You heard enemy over there. You want to go and see who's over there. If it's an enemy, kill him. If it's not, don't shoot him. So, yeah. I listen for my enemies a lot. I listen for, like, gunfire and all. And then if I, for example, if I hear gunfire to my left, I immediately look left. If I hear gunfire behind me, I immediately look behind me. Because I'm checking if that was an enemy or not. What's a helpful tip? Hmm. Listening was one. What's another? Shoot! I had it! I freaking like... I had another one in my head now. All of a sudden I forgot it. Son of a crap. Ugh. You also want to be fast sometimes. Like fast pace. You want to rush people. I did put a bot in this. But I guess he ain't here. Strange. I must be the bot. Oh no. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like those are like the ones I know. What else do I know? How did I get so good at killing people? Well, my friend isn't doing so good, but he's playing more and he's trying to get better. I pretty much got better just because of like learning experiences over the years of playing a game like well another thing you want to do instead of like like coming around a corner and then aiming you want to like what about here you want to aim before you come around because if you aim and come around the corner you're already shot and dead but if you do this and there's an enemy right there dead sometimes I'll just do this and see an enemy dead I do kill enemies fast. I tend to like. I usually use this spot in Newtown just to see if anyone's coming. I like do this. And if I see an enemy come around, I shoot him. And over here, if I see one over there, I shoot him. A little bit of camp. I don't like camp a lot, but if I get killed a lot, I tend to camp because if I just continue running around getting killed, then I'm gonna go negative, which I'm not gonna do. Another thing. Usually I put silence on my guy so no one can hear me. So like people don't really know where I am a lot. So if I had silence on now you wouldn't be able to hear me running. Kinda like a ninja, so yeah. And another helpful thing. Um I thought I had the one I said where you have to like listen for your enemies to come. Like if, I think I already said it. Did I? I'm not sure. Frick. I don't know. God dang. I really hate it when I forget like what to say. It's annoying. Really annoying. So yeah, that's pretty much all I know from 
so far and like how I became good at this game or better. So like hopefully these tips like help you a little bit. Just to like get good attachments for your gun. Like like quick draw and uh fast like fast reloading stuff to make you like get kills easier and look at your gun better. I don't have a secondary because I have like every single like s I have six attachments on this gun right now. No, five. I have five attachments and one optic. And if you're gonna do that, you're not gonna have a secondary because it just takes up way too much space. And I got this gun to gold. Looks pretty cool. And yeah, you want you just wanna look at your radar every two seconds to know where your teammates are, where the enemies are. So you know 24-7 where everyone is. So you're like, I don't know where the enemies are. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, let's just wait for them to come. No, if you look at your radar, you'll know where they are. And you'll know where to look and shoot them from. The other thing is, listen for your enemies. Listen for, like, gunshots and look in that direction where they come from. Look in the direction of where you hear things. Because you never know. You could hear a gunshot from over there. And then you can go over here. And you see an enemy camping. Up. Oh, free kill. So. That's. Something that I do. So yeah. I don't go negative. I don't know how I don't go negative. It's just because I just use these tips 24-7. I just keep going at it. I fast pace the game. Try to get as many kills as I can. And stuff like that. I don't have any kills because there's no bots in here. Another thing, you're aiming. When you go to aim, see, look at that. Got a hit, like freaking headshot. But if you're the guy who goes and aims and like is over here, over there, up there, yeah, you just want to practice on your aiming. But like, pretend that thing is an enemy. You just want to pretend. Like, practice your aiming. When you go to aim at an enemy, you want to make sure like this little circle thing. Mostly aim for the head to get a headshot because you get more points, but. I think I remember back then when I used to go on enemy, I just went, yeah, see right there, I missed, I shot that. You don't want to do that. You want to shoot the person as much as you possibly can. And the sensitivity will go towards that. Like, my sensitivity is a uh, six. It's perfect for me because I can easily just turn around and shoot somewhere if they're behind me. Because if you're, like, like, if your sensitivity is low, you're not going to be able to do that. If someone's behind you, you're going to go, uh, you're already dead halfway through. But if your sensitivity is high, and you hear, like, an enemy behind you, you just go, and they're dead. So, yeah, that's another way, like, on how to not die so much. That's probably another reason why I go positive 20, almost 24-7. So, yeah. Those are pretty much all the tips I know so far. Hopefully I get more. Oh, yeah. And if there's like ever enemy, you always want to go after the enemy. You don't ever want to run from them or camp for them. You just, you just want to freaking hunt, hunt the enemies. If you see a, if you see a red dot, go after it and kill it. And a red dot, you see, you will go towards them and you kill them first, or they will just kill you, if you're a camper or something like that. So, yeah. All right. So those are my uh, tips. Hopefully they am help you improve on your gameplay on this game and yeah hopefully they help you out uh, so yeah subscribe if you haven't already like this video if it helped you out a lot hopefully it does if it doesn't well at least I tried I did try so these are like the tips I used so yeah well I'm gonna say right now like this all started in Black Ops 2 when I kind of sucked at it. I did suck at Black Ops 2 when I started playing it. I was kind of like a little kid and all. Being like, I was so happy when I first got online. Like, holy crap, I'm playing with other people, yay. But I sucked. I kind of sucked. Like, the way I played was like, I don't even know if I, I think I knew how to run. And then when I saw an enemy, I just went uh, and shot him. And then I got killed and killed and killed. Like, 
there a way, there's gotta be a way to make myself better. And then there's this thing called bots, which you kill these, like, robot things. Like, hmm, maybe that's a way I can get better. So I went to that, and, uh, after a couple of games, I used all these tips and got kill after kill after kill. I'm pretty much almost unstoppable. And as you get better, you can like raise the uh, difficulty of the bots to make them like a little bit harder. And even in like hard mode, I can still beat them. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty good at this game now. You even saw it yesterday in my last slash in my free for all, I completely destroy people. Why? Because of the help of bots. <laughs> bots pretty much helped me out in uh, on improving my gameplay, and I've I've become so much better. I've even versed my friends and my dad and guess what I beat them and back then I was beat by them and now they can't even beat me anymore cause me playing bots improved my gameplay so much that I've become pretty good at this game now so yeah there's my pretty much backstory on how I became good at this game so now to my friends who are bad at this game there you go there's some tips to help you out including you Brooke cause I know you're pretty not so good at the game yet, but you will be. And Frank, he goes negative. But hopefully these tips help them out. So, And any other person out there who is not so good. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if, if it helped you out. And comment down below if you um, need anything. Like, you can comment, uh, how do you do this? Or, like... Anything, like how do you do this, or like can you help me with some anything like that. I'll be glad to help you out on improving your gameplay, or anything, questions, anything. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tips on how to become better at this game. Oh, I know I did, because I already am, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the live stream tonight. Yes, I am doing a live stream again. I do live streams weekly, like every week, and then the weekends I just do whatever so yeah see you guys in the live stream tonight i will be doing the live stream around six it's 4 18 right now so about an hour two hours i will start the live stream so yeah see you guys in the live stream tonight and as always stay awesome peace